Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com and this is Mathy, my mammoth mascot. In this video we're going to study the concept of average and I intend this lesson for about fourth grade after children have learned long division. Now let's look at an example first. Let's say the Miller family went on a trip and the first day they drove 127 kilometers or you can think of miles if you prefer. The next day they drove 72 kilometers, third day 115 and so on. Now, if each day they had driven 110 kilometers, then they would have driven the same total amount of 550 kilometers. Their trip was a total 550 kilometers. And so if that was divided evenly into each day, then each day they would have driven 110 kilometers. In reality, they didn't do that. They drove a different amount each day. But if we evened it out, evened those distances out, then it would come out to 110 each day. So that's why we say that on average, they drove 110 kilometers each day, or the average distance they drove was 110 kilometers. So that's the concept of average. It's basically a bunch of numbers, and then we even them out so that it comes out to the same total. The total or the sum is the same. And to calculate the average, all we do is we add all these numbers and divide by how many there are. So I would add these, get 550, and divide by 5 to get 110. This is the formula here for it. Average is the sum of all the numbers you have, the items, and then divide by however many there are, the number of the items. Let's look at an example. Caleb's quiz scores in math, maybe, or something were 13, 17, 18, 15, 19, and 20 points. So find his average score. Very simple, all we need to do is find the sum, or add all these numbers, and divide by how many there are. So let's add these numbers. We have 13 and 17, which is 30. I'm adding those two. 18 and 15 is 33. 19 and 20 is 39, okay? So I'm adding all these six numbers this way. Here's 12 and there's 10. 102. Now we need to divide that by how many numbers I had. I had 6 numbers, right? Now use long division. 6 goes to 10 one time. 1 times 6, 6 and subtract. And 6 goes to 42 7 times, and that's even division. So the average is 17 points. That's the final answer. Now let's look at another example where we have a bar graph. This bar graph is showing us the books that kids read, maybe over the summer or I don't know. And we need to find the average number of books that they read. Okay? And at first it looks like I don't have any numbers to add, right? I mean to find the average I need to add up something, but there's nothing to add. At first it looks like. But what I need to do is find out or read from the graph how many books Anne read, how many books Mary read, and so on. So let me see. Anne read nine books, right? Mary, 14. Jane, 12. And Daniel, 8. What is it, Matthew? Oh, I made an error. Oh, okay, let me erase that. What is it? Seven? Thank you, Matthew. Thank you so much. <clears throat> and Greg, 13. Okay, I hope I got it right now. Now we add those numbers to find the average. So here, I would have 13 and 7, which is 20. These two make 26, and then there's 9. 6 plus 9 is 15, I get 55. And then I divide that by however many there are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 55 divided by 5. That's easy, okay. The average is 11 books. This means that if each kid here had read 11 books, then the total number of books would have been the same. 55 books total. Okay? But in reality it varies. Some kids read more than 11 and some kids read less than 11. But 11 is kind of like... 
like a middle number, so to speak. And here we have now a little bit more complex word problem. That's why I have saved it last. What is it, Matthew? Oh, okay. Matthew wants me to remind you, or let you know, that he wrote this word problem specifically for you, okay? And, uh, oh, it does have Matthew in it. <laughs> wow, you wrote a word problem about yourself. Okay. In four different days, Matthew ate 400 pounds, 380 pounds, 390 and 410 pounds of hay. That's a lot of hay to eat, but you know, mammoths are big animals. So estimate how much hay he would eat in seven days. Now, since this is in a lesson about average, we would expect that it has to do with average, right? And this is indeed the case this time. But it doesn't ask us the average. It doesn't ask us what the average is. It's asking us something totally different. How much hay he would eat in seven days? But we can use the average. See, if we first find how much he eats on average in one day, then we multiply that times seven to estimate how much he would eat approximately in seven days. So let's find the average of what he eats because it gives us the amounts for four days. So we add those. 400 and 380, 390 and 410. Okay, that's 10, 18. Then we have 5, 8 plus 7, 15. The total is 1580 pounds for 4 days, and then we need to divide that by 4 to get the average. Okay, 4 goes to 15 3 times. Subtract. 4 goes to 38 9 times. And 4 goes to 25 times evenly. So the average is 395 pounds. That's how much he eats per day, approximately, okay, on average. And now we multiply that times 7 to get how much approximately he would eat in 7 days. 395 times 7. 7 times 5, 35. 9 times 7, 63, plus 3, 66. And then 21 plus 6. 27. Okay, so that's our final answer. 2,765 pounds in seven days. Well, thank you, Matthew, for providing a nice word problem.